The economy is shifting, and from West Virginia to New Jersey, these are the states that everybody is leaving in 2021. Illinois. Illinois is full of opportunities, if you're a criminal, that is. Chicago was established in 1950 with 80,000 citizens and no police force, which made it the ideal hub for organized crime. Although the mob died out a couple of decades ago, the crime didn't. It is on the rise with 40 in every 1,000 people being a victim in Chicago and a 1 in 84 ratio in the state as a whole. Criminals have a 50% chance of getting away with a crime in Illinois, and 4 out of every 5 of those who are caught are ended up letting go. But crime rate is only one of the reasons why you see 66% of the people who move into Illinois moving out just months later. High taxes are sending residents running as well. The state has the highest total state and local tax taxes in the U.S. at 15.1% and almost 39% above the national average. Connecticut Connecticut is even worse with more people moving out this year than people moving in for the third year in a row. 63% of those who are leaving are looking for better conditions, kind of like warmer weather, more job opportunities, and less congestion. One cold hard fact about Connecticut is that it's cold. In the winter, the average low temperature is between 1 and 2 degrees. Even the jobs have moved to an all-new hotspot, the South. Even though the nutmeg state's population is dwindling, it's still congested with 738 people per square mile when the national average is just 92. This ends up making every single job eight times harder to get due to all of the competition from everybody else around you. Hawaii at least the jobs in Connecticut pay well. While the jobs in Hawaii are easier to find, recent studies show that you're going to need a yearly income of at least $122,000 to make ends meet. But the average salary is a measly $65,000. Hawaii, the Aloha state, is quickly becoming the see you later state because of how expensive everything is. A ticket to paradise has always been on the pricey side with homes averaging $870,000. People are drowning in high taxes and are being milked for things like groceries, with a gallon of milk running close to $10 a gallon in some spots. The decline in tourism due to the COVID-19 pandemic has thrown a lot of workers and business owners under the bus. In just 2020 alone, $2.4 billion in revenue was gone, which has many Hawaiians on the hunt for jobs in other states, but everybody is avoiding West Virginia. Speaking of West Virginia, home of the Black Hills, it has the highest percentage of residents leaving than any other state in the past decade. This decline has even caused the state to lose a congressional seat. Ironically, it is the heated political climate that is much of the exodus. Many will say that they feel politically oppressed. And on top of that, West Virginia's failure to keep up speed is an issue. Only 79% of the households have broadband internet, the fifth smallest rate in the nation, and cell phone services lagging too. There's even more deaths than births in the state, which has spurred West Virginia to devote its energy to luring people from out of state to try and move in. But that's kind of a hard nut to sell when considering that 16% of the residents live in poverty, mostly due to half of all mining workers being fired in the last several years. Alaska Speaking of jobs, too, residents are ditching Alaska due to the declining state jobs. The state budget has gone through the chopping block, causing state jobs to reach an all-time low. For 27 months in a row, Alaska has seen drastic decreases in employment opportunities. Petroleum jobs have been able to fuel the last frontier's employment over the last couple of decades, but they have puttered out lately with the nation leaning towards more alternate energy and the fact that oil and gas companies outsource work to non-residents doesn't exactly help matters either. Alaska currently holds the unwanted record for being the state with the nation's highest unemployment rate. For the fourth consecutive year, more people are leaving Alaska than coming out. And the weather can't be blamed because it was just as cold back in the 70s and 80s when the population was booming due to jobs of oil and gas. Louisiana while Louisiana's weather is definitely much nicer than Alaska's, 50% of Louisians who are moving in or out are actually leaving the state. 72% of them say a better job in another state is driving them away, and most are upper middle class families earning at least $100,000 that are going where they can actually make more. Now, this shouldn't be hard to do since 19% of the 4.9 million who live there are well below the poverty limit. It's been noted that more millennials in the state are actually taking advantage of the taxpayer-supported universities only to earn their degree, wise up, and move out. Mississippi 
Mississippi is also losing millennials left and right who are leaving to find more job opportunities with much better pay. For every 100 people that move in, exactly 103.6 people leave. Honestly, I kind of wonder how that works. Most of these people leaving are between the ages of 25 to 40. Those who are wanting to start a company sure don't want to do it in Mississippi, with over 117,000 bureaucratic regulations that end up affecting just about every type of business. That's why Mississippi is home of blues. Living in the poorest state in the U.S. would have anybody singing it. While the livable wage is $46,000, the median household income is just under $43,000, meaning that most people have to struggle just to make ends meet. Although Mississippi's cost of living is about the lowest in the nation, so is its standard of living, as the state's healthcare is in dire need of a shot in the arm. It, too, is rated the worst in the country. New York Speaking of the worst in the country, New York is the most heavily taxed state in the U.S., and people can't get out fast enough. Unfortunately, taxes aren't the only reason, as people are leaving due to the fact of the crazy high prices in New York. The cost of living in the Empire State is the most expensive of the nation. In fact, a house in one of the five boroughs will set you back about $571,000, while a home in Manhattan typically runs just shy of a million. Renting a borough will generally cost right under $3,500. Utilities? Well, those are sky high too. You definitely don't want to get hungry while on the Big Apple, while the average price of a meal is $50. bucks. And if you think of buying your own groceries as the solution, think again. The general monthly cost for going to the New York grocers is around $500, while the national average is just shy of $300. California On the opposite end of the coast, California is just as unpopular as New York. High housing costs, outrageous gas prices, wildfires, and the threat of earthquakes are just some of the reasons that people are storming out. And politics does play a role in the scene, too. As the states become more liberal, conservatives are feeling the squeeze and are headed to right-leaning states like Florida, Texas, and Ohio. Not to mention that many of the state's corporations are fleeing in order to avoid heavily-handed regulations. While it used to be a thing to move to Cali, it's now a thing to move away. Big tech and everyday people alike are giving up hope for a silver lining in the Golden State. Tesla CEO Elon Musk headed for Texas, as did HP and Twitter. When the work leaves, so do the people, and it's not looking good for California right now. In the last year alone, lots more people left the state than moved in, and the ones that did move in were mostly illegals. New Jersey while California is pretty bad, New Jersey earns the top spot for residents leaving, a title that this state has held for the last three years. Over 70% of all movers are moving as far away as possible from this state. Because of just how close New Jersey is to New York, its prices are affected in a bad way. From extremely high taxes to expensive homes, nobody can afford to live there. And to give you an idea of the cost of the taxes, the bank's tax alone is set at 10%. 